Hey y'all, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Maine. I am a 20 year old young mom trying to do YouTube as I love vlogging what I get up to. I am a mom of three. My eldest is Ararangi. He is four years old. You'll see him in this vlog. My second eldest is Tuyarungo. That is who I am getting ready. She is 18 months old and I am currently 33 weeks pregnant with our third. I am still new at this. I'm literally still learning how to vlog and all the techniques. Um, so yeah, if you like watching my vlog or today's vlog, um, go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you are currently pregnant, congratulations to you and your family. And I wish you all the best throughout your pregnancy and during your labour and after labour. I hope everything goes smoothly for you. So at the moment, I am currently getting my kids ready as Arangi has a air clinic appointment today. So welcome, welcome, welcome to our today's vlog. Just waiting until we get called in for Ararangi's appointment. What are you doing, Tui? Huh? Hmm? What's that tree? Careful. So we are back home now, um, turns out Ararangi has blue ears, there's a lot of fluid in the middle, middle part of his head or something like that. Anyway he has blue ears and the hair clinic lady had said that um, we will be referred to the hospital in another 3 or 4 weeks, could be longer because Covid is literally slowing everything down. Um, but yeah, so my son is partly deaf in his left ear. We now have to speak up um, with him and I have noticed that, that I am repeating myself and I have been, yeah, talking louder than usual. To me, surgery, seeing my son go for surgery, that, that's pretty scary. Um, because he has a little body, his body is so little. Yeah, I don't know, I just have to be strong. Um, I don't like, I don't like the hospital, even though, you know, the hospital helps you out. But, yeah. I used to, um, when I was little, around son's age, four to eight, um, four years old to eight years old, I had cancer. If you have been watching my older vlogs, I would have mentioned, um, that had leukemia at a young age. I can't really remember much, but scary. Delivery day. <clears throat> we are going to unbox these. Open up these. These will be my labor 
labor um, stuff. So, first package. First one. These will be going into my labor bag, my hospital bag. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so first, we have one pair of these socks. Um, I got these socks because um, they're, they're super warm and thick. And they're like fluffy inside. I also got them because the last time in the hospital when I stayed with my daughter, um, after I gave birth to my daughter, it was cold up in, in the hospital. So these will be nice and warm for me. So these are just in case. And then I got me some ankle socks. Won't need to take all of these, but um, yeah, I'll be taking one of one or the other. Um, just in case like I may be at the birth care and it's like the birth care is actually quite warm um, so I won't need thick socks so yeah ankle socks next package so they are all bought from warehouse um, obviously they're in different packages because they would have come from different warehouses um, as one of them may have been an out of stock and this one we have got um, a maternity singlet so it just unclips here um, easy access for when I want to breastfeed baby so I've got a white one and I've got a black one Also got me some pajama pants because I need some more pajamas and these will be going into my hospital bag. Okay, and this one we have got Some more um, hot, some more thick socks. Yeah, we will open those soon. Some more thick socks. A little little pseudo cream for baby. Um, I love using pseudo cream. Usually the birth kit and the hospital provide pseudo cream for the babies. Um, they also provide nappies. Hospital didn't really provide that much nappy so yeah I will be getting some putting some nappies into baby's bag so pseudo cream and a roll-on for me um, because I do not want to be using a spray around baby it will be just too strong so yay Kmart was in stock with these drawers got the five piece um, drawer for baby well, I might use it for me so we've got an eight piece um, or a five piece drawer so the five piece will be going over here where all this mess is um, so these containers are actually full of baby's newborn nappies and then behind me are my daughter's um, nappies yeah we're just gonna sort out this area today
I just realized that I put them in the wrong way. Uh, so I have to change these two, turn them around. I'll show you. This is where I've gone wrong. As you can see, this is closed off and this is open. So um, that lets the drawer go in and yeah, um, I obviously didn't look at it properly. So now I have to take this one and that one apart. And just but first, yeah, if we you do notice, it. my daughter, um, she was actually waiting for me to put her to sleep. So I had to put her to sleep first, cuddle her to sleep, and be a mom. which he is in the lounge watching movies um, so he is settled what it looks like I ended up putting the eight drawer on this side because it is actually full of baby's things <laughs> so I can't actually use it for myself so these are Toyarungo's nappies they could not fit in any of the drawer because all the drawers are literally full of newborn nappies and I've just opened and cut up the box so that it is easy access also, so where my mum is babysitting um, my kids, um, she can see where their things are. So there are seven drawers full of newborn nappies. And these last two are the wipes. And this one is, so these are breast pumps. And these are storage bags. This is for on the go bottle warmer. Oh. 
and then my nursing um, pads. So in the five drawer we have blankets, sheets and wraps and swaddles. In this one, oh and baby towels. These are all swaddles. This one is all baby wraps. This one is baby's blankets. And this one is baby sheets. Oh no, we don't want to be breaking them now. All of baby sheets. Anyways, mine and baby's hospital bag is ready. We have ended up sharing just because it is a pretty big bag and it can literally fit all of my stuff in there and all of baby's stuff in there. So you all know what our next vlog is. It is our hospital bag and our midwife updates on how baby is doing. Well that is our vlog for today um, lovelies. I'm going to close off now. Don't forget to like, comment and if you enjoyed our vlog today go ahead and subscribe. Leave some comments down below if you have any questions and I'll make sure to answer them all in the next vlog. I'll also put down in the description where I got the drawers from and all my little parcels that I got for my labour um, bag. Okay, I'm going to turn it off now. Bye, lovelies.